With functions under your belt, it's time to pause, reflect, and try a coding challenge with Checkpoint 4. Don't worry, again, it's not such a hard problem to solve, but I hope it makes you stop and think about what you've learned so far and try it out in real code. This time, your challenge is to write a function that accepts one integer parameter from one through 10,000 and sends back the integer square root of that number. Now, that might sound relatively easy, but there are some catches. First up, you cannot use the built-in square root function or anything like it. You've got to try and find the square root yourself. Second, if the number is less than one or greater than 10,000, I like to throw out of bounds errors. I refuse to handle numbers like 10,001, for example. Third, only consider integer square roots. Don't worry about double stuff. Don't worry about the square root of three being 1.732, for example. Only think about one, two, three, four, five, 50, and so forth. And finally, if you can't find the square root, I want you to throw a no root error. Now for the avoidance of doubt, as a reminder, if you have number x, the square root of that number is an another number, such that this number multiplied by itself gives x. For example, the square root of 9 is 3, because 3 by 3 is 9. The square root of 25 is 5, because 5 times 5 is 25, and so forth. Now I'm going to give you some hints in a moment, as always, but please stop now, try the challenge yourself, and see how you get on, because Genuinely, there is no learning without struggle. If it comes to you easy, it'll go away easily. Sometimes you learn stuff, forget it, learn it again, forget it again, learn it again, forget it a third time, but the fourth time you learn it and it sinks in and stays. And that's normal. That's part of the process of learning. In fact, it's a great thing. If you find yourself forgetting stuff, don't worry about it because you'll relearn it and it'll sink in deeper next time. Keep it in your mind, there is no learning without struggle. Okay. Pause the video now, because next up are the hints. Okay, if you're still here, that means you'd like some hints. Let's have a look. First up, this is absolutely a problem you should brute force. That means create a loop with multiplications inside. Are you the square root? No. Are you? No. Are you? No. Are you? No. Are you? No. Da -da -da -da. Again and again and again. You can loop from one through 100 to cover all possible cases. Remember, the largest number I want you to handle is 10,000. And 100 times 100 is 10,000, so your loop can go from 1 through 100 to handle all possible cases. Third up, if you've got to the end of your loop, check all 1 through 100, and you've found no match, that's when you throw your no root error. And if you want to, you can handle the number being too high, over 10,000, or too low, less than one, with a single error. It's down to you. That's it. That's all the hints. Go ahead, solve the challenge, and have some fun.